University of Ambar is one of the important Iraqi universities founded in 1987 in Ramadi, the capital city of Ambar province. It contains 18 colleges, 15 of them at the main campus of Ramadi, and the other three are placed in Heat, Haditha, and Khan districts for the large area of the province. For 23 years since its foundation, the University of Ambar became an integrated scientific center, equipped with the latest devices and integrated laboratory capabilities. Moreover, there was a significant development within the university's building, such as the scientific and administrative department's buildings, labs, and libraries. On the 7th of June, 2014, the University of Ambar students were going to perform their final exams at the university campus in Ramadi City. On that day, a tourist group called ISIS was able to get into the university campus, causing security chaos and panic among tutors and students who were present inside the walls of the university. The university headquarters with the help of people settled around the university, were able to provide transportations and evacuate them into safe areas. In order to ensure a continuous learning process in hard times, the university opened several alternative campuses to accomplish examinations and do not miss the rest of the academic year. With the continued control of ISIS on the most of Ambar regions, including the university, Alternative campuses were opened in order to ensure the future of the students. Whereas repairing and maintaining the campus of the Agriculture College belongs to the University of Baghdad in Abu Ghraib and another alternative campus in Kirkuk University. On the 15th of December 2015, the announcement of the major military operation in which all military divisions took part for liberating the university campus and raising the Iraqi flag on the buildings of the university. The battles that took place inside the campus of the university caused a massive devastation in various university infrastructure, including all public, scientific, and administrative buildings, such as departments, classrooms, research laboratories, libraries, and parking lots. In addition, destroying a health center which provides free services for the students and employees. On the 16th of October 2016, the Minister of Higher Education and Research, Professor Dr. Razak Aliza, announced resuming the work in the main campus of the university. After this announcement, the university accelerated the process using all affiliates and technical staff to repair and clean the site of the military waste with simple and limited capabilities. In addition, students had a great role by volunteering in cleaning campaign in the scientific departments, classrooms, and other public facilities within the campus. Then teaching staff reconvened to continue working at the university campus after more than two years of stopping working in the original campus. Finally, the insistence of the university presidency, the employees, and students to continue the educational process in the original campus of the university was more powerful than the view of the devastation of various infrastructure, public facilities, and laboratories that are now in dire need for reconstructing and repairing. So the university takes its place back as a scientific house that lights up the path through our darkness and ignorance.